Yeah. What's up guys, it's your boy Lucas coming at you. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel and as you can see today we're talking about Liza Koshi's intro. Now, Liza is one of the most talented YouTubers as you know she recently won a Teen Choice Awards so she must be an inspiration for many of you out there so it's only natural that we talk about how to copy some of the success that Liza Koshi has. So in this video we're going to focus on her intro. For that we're going to be needing Sony Vegas and Photoshop. So let's start off with Vegas. What we need to do is first we need to find an, a background image that we want to use. You can use any image you like. I'm going to use the same image that Liza uses and because I couldn't find it online I'm going to extract it from one of her videos. So I downloaded one of her videos and you can look it up uh, on Google how to download uh, a video off of YouTube. So once you have that video and you have Sony Vegas open, just drag this clip onto your timeline. So here now you have to navigate to the place where the intro actually plays, right there. And then make sure you have selected best and full, okay? So then it displays in 920 by 1080 which is the full HD resolution. So once you have that you press on this icon here which is says snape snapshot to file. Okay so then when you press save it will actually save that image on your drive which will look something like this. All right perfect. Right so now I have this image opened in Photoshop and there are three elements to the intro. There is the image itself as you can see in the clip, then comes the sign, once this with Liza, and then comes her face. So essentially we're gonna have to make three separate images. So now that we have the background ready, we can go ahead and add an extra layer by clicking this icon right here, and add the subtitles. So we select the color white, click on the text, and the font for this is called Budmo, okay? So this is the font you can look up and I think this is uh, the exact font that Liza is using. So let's go ahead and write our subtitle now. So now we click here and then we want to press Ctrl T which will give us this a nice frame around our subtitle and we want to hold shift and drag the corner and then we want to go here and just skew it so that it's nicely displaying across our background. All right, so now when we're done, we click on the arrow icon and position it so that it's more or less from corner to corner, right? Just like Liza's. You can stretch it a bit more. Okay, there you go, that's enough. There's a little bit of feathering going on around the letters here, and that's what makes the letters stand out really, really nice. So let's try to imitate that. So first thing we need to do is click, double click in there in order to open some settings. And then we want to go to drop shadow. We want to leave it as it is on default settings. And then we want to go to outer glow. If you select outer glow, go to screen and normal, first of all, then go to color and click on whatever color closer resembles this. So this looks like dark purple or something. So I'm going to click actually here on the image because I want to use the colors that are already in the image. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to change the settings to precise. This one, I'm going to go up to about 24 and with this one I'm going to go up to about 40. And you can see what's working for you uh, best, but I found the settings to be, I found this setting to be really close to what I'm seeing here. So that's how we're going to leave it. So on to our next element, which is this beautiful mocha, white chocolate, dark chocolate mix, pouty lips, beautiful face, and nice pearly white, with all joking aside. So, any image, of course, will do if you want to use your own face, and uh, I think you should. In this case, I'm going to use Liza's face, because here I'm showing you how to exactly recreate what Liza does, but you can, of course, do and use whatever you want. So I went online and I found this image. This is the image I'm going to use. Now, in order to select the... the in order to cut out the face out of this image, we need to go to... 
magnetic lasso tool which is situated here if you don't see it just right click it and then select magnetic lasso tool so then once you have it selected you click on the edge and you just drag your cursor down following the edge of her face very 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 closely okay so you're going you don't have to click anything it just sort of does does the clicking automatically so then you want to cut out just the face like it is showing and then when you make the full circle you just left click and then it will give you this nice selection now notice before i started drawing this i selected feather 15 okay so when we cut this out the edges actually will be much softer if you don't do the feather it will be very sharp and it won't look as nice so now when you have this selection you go to right click and then layer via cut so now this, this creates the new layer here. So now we double click the background, click OK. So now we can click here to get rid of the background and what we are left with is Liza's very pretty face. So now we want to position her onto our image. So we, what we do is we drag this tab down in order to take it off the tab here, the bar. We select our image, we click back on the image, we drag down, and then we select the layer and drag this onto our image, okay? So now we can, when we are selected here and we have this arrow clicked, we can position that image. Okay, let's see. All right, so let's skew it a little bit to press Control T and just skew it right like this so that it's perpendicular to our subtitles click apply also we can blow it up by clicking by pressing ctrl t holding shift and dragging one of the corners so we can make it bigger or smaller maybe we want to finesse this a little bit more because we were sloppy with our selection now we have to go to brush tool and from the brush tool menu you can you have to select the brush with the feather soft round is good size uh, it depends on the size of your image but about 100 pixels is good hardness you have to set to zero and then the mode has to be set to clear so now when we have our layer selected here we can go in and kind of finesse this a bit or like erase but then as you can see it also does the feathering so it's not going to look weird when we do this let's get rid of this hair here so Liza doesn't look like a boy. Right, so that looks much, much, much better. So now we can even blow it up further. All right. And we are pretty much done. So now what we want to do is we want to save this in three separate files. So the first file, background, clear background, we already have. Then we want to save it with just the subtitles. So I'm going to hide that layer here and save this as save for web. I'm going to change it to JPEG. I'm going to go with very high. And I'm going to name it two. And then this one, I'm going to also save and name it three. All right, that's cool. So now that we have our images ready, we can go ahead, we can hop on back to Vegas and start putting everything together. So now that we are in Vegas, we have our, we have our video clip that we dragged in here before. And we, what we want to do now is we also want, we also need to extract the music, right? Because if we are making our own intro, obviously the visuals have to be different. The music that plays is the same. So I'm gonna look for the moment where the intro starts. Alright, so this is where it's starting. And when I, when I zoom in by scrolling the mouse up, I can see exactly where it sort of begins and I can even cut it more precisely just by going to the frame where it actually starts. So when I come to this first frame, I press S and then I want to go to the very end and cut it there. Wait, is that seriously your intro? Yeah. All right, so this video is not good. It's not a good example because 
she interrupts it. So let's get rid of that video and let's drag another video with, that we have here. All right, so let's use that video. This actually starts with the intro, so you don't, you don't have to cut anything at the beginning. Yeah. So we want to cut it right where the yeah starts. Uh, because if you are making your intro, obviously you want your own vocals to be added, right? Your own little uh or something like this. But in this case, I'm going to leave it, okay? So let's just cut it where it ends. Yeah. All right, so somewhere there. Yeah. 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 Hey guys. All right, so we're gonna cut it right here. I want to select the moment when these titles come up. So they come up right here. So I'm going to press M as in mark on my keyboard. And I'm also going to select the place where her face appears. Okay, so it's here. So then I find the frame and I press M as well. So now I can easily um, get rid of my video track. I don't need it anymore. I'm just going to preserve the audio. So for that, I'm pressing U on my keyboard. And then we can, by selecting, clicking the mouse on the video track, we can erase it. Now I'm going to drag my two, three, and background file onto my time video timeline right here. So first comes the image, which is that one, okay. I'm going to come up to the mark number one, because this is where our titles appear. And then I'm going to adjust it like so to mark number two because this is where the face pops in. Okay, so put it there. Drag this down so you guys can see it better. And let's roll it. Yeah. So that's how you do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. A little white boy is out. Bye!